Hello and welcome everyone. We are going to build a WooCommerce application with React on the front end and WordPress in the back end. And we are going to use two plugins for this. First is WooCommerce. So I'm assuming that you're already aware about WooCommerce when you have basic knowledge of WordPress and you can set up a WordPress environment. You can use local localhost, MAMP, XAMPP, uh, you can use Docker or any environment of your choice. Currently my uh, WordPress website is hosted at mydemo.coditech.com. Uh, you can host your website wherever you want. You can even try it locally. Okay, so wherever your website uh, is set up, you can go ahead and use that. I have two plugins active here. One is WooCommerce and second is Headless CMS. Headless CMS uh, is available on WordPress.org. However, the latest version will be available at Imran H. Sayed Headless CMS in case, just in case if the WordPress.org is not updated. So you can clone it from here or you can download the zip from here and you can install and activate it, okay? So this plugin basically is going to provide you with some extra features like giving you REST API endpoints that is going to give you a data, some of which is not available in the default WordPress REST API, okay? So the good part is that we're going to be building everything with this React application using WordPress REST API. So the idea is to keep it as simple as possible, especially for the beginners and not introduce anything that is really complex. Uh, so we'll try to keep it simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start installing the Next.js application. And if you go to the nextjs.org documentation, and then you go to getting started you have this option available all you have to do is just type npx create next app and you can do that on the terminal it's going to ask you what is your project name so whatever your project name is you can put the name of the folder here in my case i'm going to keep it as i'm going to keep it as nextjs woocommerce rest api Okay, that's going to be the name of my project. Uh, it is installing React, React DOM, uh, Next.js, etc. So all the package and dependencies is being installed. And as you can see that it's been installed and you can do yarn dev or npm run dev to start your development server. So I'm going to open this uh, into my code editor. You can choose whichever code editor you want. I'm going to use the PHP Storm. Okay, so I've opened this directory, Next.js WooCommerce REST API, and I'm going to CD into this. So Next.js WooCommerce REST API, and I'm going to just do rmrf.git so I can initialize my own repository, and I can say git init. And then I'm just going to say npm run dev. So if you take a look at the localhost 3000, you'll see that you have welcome to Next.js and then you have your basic setup, okay? So it has created a .next folder which has the cache file, etc. cetera. Uh, you have your public folder which has favicon and SVG, etc. You have the styles directory. We are going to use Tailwind CSS, so we'll install it in some time. And then this has got your pages. Currently we are on, on the index page. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff. We don't need, okay. And, or maybe just let's leave the footer for now. Okay, so let's leave everything else for now. All right, so you've got your basic next year's application running. Uh, in the next video, what we're gonna do is we will go ahead and set up Tailwind CSS so we can start with the development. So I'm going to see you in the next video. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.